Hi, I'm Anna Baird, and I'm one of our global leaders who speaks to our customers on Google's Culture and Change Management Foundation. Today we'll explore psychological safety. Amy Edmondson, the Novartis Professor of Leadership at Management at Harvard Business School, spearheaded research on how and why workplace silence happens and what effect it has on employees who opt to manage their impressions internally over speaking up. When employees stay silent, Amy talks about missed opportunities to realize necessary change, innovation, and even to see potential business issues. Drawing on Amy Edmondson's work and the work of her fellow professor, Jeff Poltzer, also at Harvard Business School, Google built its culture on this idea of psychological safety. If Googlers are hired for knowledge, innovation, and ability to stretch to the edge of impossible, then the culture to speak up has to be comfortable so that people vocalize and contribute their thoughts and ideas. As Amy and Jeff have said in a blog post, a lack of psychological safety can be found at the root of many noteworthy organizational errors and failures. This blog post can be found on the Google Rework website, where we share and post open source materials. Bringing us back to psychological safety, for many executive teams, you will know this challenge to be one of the biggest unknown threats to your business's success, complacency and the status quo. So you might be asking yourself, what does Google do uniquely or differently to enable a psychologically safe environment? Well, a lot. I have three specific examples for you. First, Google's innovation principles bake in the idea of a psychologically safe environment through enablement programs. One of these programs is the 20% project. If you have an idea or how to solve any business challenge, even one not related to your current role, you can make a case to a committee to fund the project. Once approved, any Googler can volunteer up to 20% of their time towards that project. The 20% project mechanism gives us limitless creativity and gives it to our Googlers without fear that their manager might not support them. But a second example, much more different from the 20% project, is a mechanism for speaking up called Go Say Something. This is an avenue for any Googler to anonymously share things they have heard other colleagues say. This might be, on one extreme, a comment that made someone feel uncomfortable and could be addressed more broadly in our diversity, inclusion, and belonging efforts as a company. Or, on the other extreme, should be dealt with from a disciplinary perspective. Go say something is just one more avenue to speak up without the fear of being penalized or treated differently. Google drawing on Amy Edmondson's original work on psychological safety enabled a risk-taking culture to flourish in the business. Google wanted to enable employees to feel safe to take risks and be vulnerable in front of each other. These were all mantras iterated by the leadership down to each and every Googler. Dream big, reach, experiment, and try. In fact, a third example for you, the G Thanks program, a peer-to-peer -peer award system was born from this concept of encouragement of trying new things, succeeding or failing is not the measurement, but rather what was learned and what was experienced in the process of the learning, which was the key. The G Thanks program was built on a three pillar aim. Pillar one was to encourage frequent appreciation between Googlers. Pillar two was to reward risk taking for those Googlers who were pushing the boundaries. And finally, pillar three, to foster psychological safety as so many G Thanks notes sent and posted are about experiments that perhaps failed, but taught us a lot. Amy Edmondson really summed up psychological safety best in her quote, psychological safety is a belief that one will not be punished or humiliated for speaking up with ideas, questions, concerns, or mistakes. 
And it is for this reason that Google's executive team have instilled in leaders and managers all over the company to ensure two key things are true for Googlers. Number one, that public recognition of people who take big risks, even if they fall short, is key to encouraging more risk takers, more innovators, and more 10Xers, an innovation principle to think big and have a moonshot goal. And secondly, managers should continuously stress the importance of trying new things in service of ambitious goals, a direct quote often said by our leaders at Google. If you're wondering what you can do now, here is a small idea you can try. In your next team meeting, go around the room and have everyone share one thing that went well in their week and one challenge or issue they faced. If you start by sharing your personal examples as the team leader, you set the tone that everyone can learn from one another's successes and also failures. That's a great first step. And so that's just a little bit of color on psychological safety here at Google. And certainly there is much more to read about. So please check out our Rework website and search psychological safety. Thanks for listening and I hope you can help empower your teams in creating a psychologically safe space.